Citations, Wacky Nation, and as you can see, we're doing something a little different. I've tried to set up a new system for our little puppet playthroughs, and we're hopefully going to complete Garten of Ban Ban 7. Now I started at the title screen. We can zoom out now. I started at the title screen because I wasn't sure if I'd have time to do an intro if it threw me right back into that thing with the baby. Yep, it threw me right back where I left off. With that horrible thing. Where is it? I can't see. Ah! Alright, I got it the first time. Is that usually how I do these? Ah! That's okay. That's the other thing that gets you, is there's no time to actually adjust the settings. Otherwise, I would. Also, apparently the letters that just kind of spawn out of nowhere are actually in reference to a cipher and that if if you die enough times you get you figure out what all the different various letters are I'm gonna see if adjusting the lighting quality made that better or worse Oh god, that made it worse. That made it worse. Go, damn you! Where... Oh... Oh, you didn't... Hey! I'm gonna have to see if I can change the settings from the main menu. Oh, why didn't I just try the brightness? Get lighting quality back up to... Aha! Let me see if this helps. Because that's happened when I've played through these before, is I didn't have the lighting settings right. Okay, that's... That is... That is a lot better, actually. That is... Oh, wow, that... Uh, adjusting the brightness made it easier to see, so I'm not just crawling around in the dark and assuming I know where this thing is! Yeah, I made this harder on myself. Hey! So now we've got the other issue. Oh, and of course it presses the button after I die, because the death screens, I guess the death screens work similar to the pause screens, how you can access them, but they don't actually pause the game. Oh, hey, you changed direction too early. You're not supposed to change direction yet.
Come on. Okay, I pressed both the buttons. Now what? Oh, I did press the... Too close. God, that was 10 minutes. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. And it's going to happen again. It is going to happen uh, freaking again. Okay. Appeal a bird. Ba Jumbo Josh. Snail. Ban Ban, Stinger Flynn, Queen Kangaroo. I forgot her name. I am scared to death to die, to, 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 to quit now, because I am legitimately worried I'm going to just jump right back into hell. The hell of which being getting away from the big fetus monster, which again, there's a lot of things about what this company was making that are questionable AF. Big crying fetus monster. Maybe that's something this... Okay, so... I guess here's the actual thing that's usually supposed to... Okay, ready? Not really. Ready. Queen. Bird. Fatty. Fatty. I didn't mean to say fatty. I'm sorry, but... So just said jumbo. Sorry about that to anyone. Okay. Bird. Jetfish. Queen. Queen. We're a little late, but I guess I should also give a quick recap of what's happened. Uh, the Naughty Ones have taken over. Almost everybody we know has been affected. Jumbo Josh can't be affected, because apparently he's too big and dumb. And Stinger Flynn can't be affected, which is really good, because Stinger Flynn is the one that has the mind powers that can make you see visions. Oh, uh, Bitter Giggle's dead. Ready? Fish, queen, jumbo, bird. Wonder how many times we have to do this. Okay. Don't make me deal with that thing again. Oh god, it's that thing again. Pink key card. <clears throat> Sorry. I gotta try to record these in the mornings before. No! F no! Gotta go up and get the green key card. I'm ever gonna have to run for the freaking fetus baby again. That's a lot easier to uh, mapping center. Okay. Updating mapping. Might as well use the drone controls. Uh, 
Okay. I'm sorry about that. In the morning, uh, my throat is more, uh, phlegmy, so. Okay, so... We have an outline for the way the mapping is supposed to go. Okay, good. So... Let me move the drone closer so it doesn't have to go as far. All right, and again, I apologize for all the throat clearing. Uh, if anyone has some advice to help with that, let me know in the comments. Oh. So the drone is too far away if we don't have it right here. That's the catch. That's where the challenge is supposed to come from, that... Okay. Okay, let me check. Okay, let me check and see. Just checking to see if it actually screenshotted. Okay. So... Got the actual path screenshotted, so... Okay, so this means there's another path we'll have to also screenshot. Great, some nice little graphical issues, always fun. But at least without Video 2 Mini, it's not causing like a major issue like it normally does. I need to find it if we have to go to the same place or a different place to get this combination. Nope, okay. Up. Okay, and... Okay, screenshotted. I'm learning. It's also a little easier to focus on the game when I don't have to pay attention to whether or not it's talking. And I do it... I fully anticipate it's supposed to be on an auto lip sync, which I'm sure is not going to be totally accurate. We're also doing dual track stuff now, so... Which means that...
which means that in OBS for audio, we have to record it onto a separate track. I have to run it through another software to isolate my track that's just the dialogue, and then I run that through Adobe Animate. So we can have this little setup here. If you, and yeah, I did kind of, okay, this is probably gonna be the hardest one. Simply on the merit that, it's gonna be the hardest one simply on the merit that even with the new controls for the drone, it, the dr it is still somewhat built on the same system the drone is used. Where it's like, you know, the drone only has a certain amount of energy to move. Probably not the last, and I may have accidentally been paused for that entire part, I'm not sure. This one is the... Okay, one, two, three... I'm kind of wondering, what was the point of, like, the fake-out with the baby? Well, wow, we are at the top of, uh... Oh. Case 12 was introduced to children's starts, exceeds expectation. Case 12 G's first time being away for its pack of subcases and initial doors was that a little bit camp reading too fast, brain can't keep up. It was expectedly stressful for Case 12 G. It seemed it seeked isolation whenever it would, which was usually short lived when other children's eagerness to play with it or seek WM. Its current primary caregiver glass and teacher of the day for comfort, it was a few hours that Case 12 G finally started to not avoid the other children. Its incomprehensible speech always caused the children to laugh, which Case 12 G has been conditioned to accept as a sign of passivity. By the end of the day, Case 12 G was fully interacting with the children. The speed at which the speed at which Case 12 G fit in with the children could be considered fantastic. Case 12 G will be present in the kindergarten on days all days of operation. I wonder who Oh, uh, wait, it's you. I know you. So it looks like we went all the way to the top of the tool store. Okay, that's a green puddle we need to interact with. I'm guessing... When prompted, we'll go down there. There's an invisible wall right there right now. Oh! Return to Syringin with the sample. It's Jumbo Josh blood. Or G Givanium. Safety landing. Safely landing pad. That's a dumpster! Courtesy of the mayor. Okay, let's find Syringian. Okay, good, he's right there. Okay, you're still in one piece. That must mean you didn't find him. But wait, what's that you got there? Is that a Joyvanium sample? He must have gotten hurt trying to flee the darkness. Well, this is even better than actually finding him. We can use this to Hang learn on, him remember, to it's wherever we want. Computer chug, so you're hearing the me. fan too. I hate to use my supreme knowledge about Jivanium against me own kind, but uh, it is what it is. After the facility abandoned the entire previous wave of cases and threw them in the lower levels, which included myself, they saw another use for me. I had four arms equipped with important tools and I would never tire or get hungry. The facility recruited me to participate in just about every facet of their operations. Lore. One of the cases that came under me hand 
was Jumbo Josh. The scepter Let's case. just say that we managed to create a case that behaves like an adult male gorilla more than an actual adult male gorilla. He's curious and he's territorial. Once he senses another gorilla in its proximity, he'll come. This sample will smell like an entirely different specimen with a few tweaks. You see where I'm going? You're... Plus, I've prepared a little contraption that might also help us with pulling this off. Sir Dadadu won't suspect a thing. This is the golden chance. We're out here making history, and all some of us care about is going to a beach. <laughs> Okay, so if I understood this correctly, his plan is to inject something with some Gyvanium, Gyvanium, specifically from Jumbo Josh. So Jumbo Josh will think there's another Jumbo Josh. Or if he thinks he's a gorilla, he'll think it's another gorilla vying for his territory and that'll lure him out so Syringian can catch him. I've laced this scepter piece with the modified version of the sample you had. It's so potent that even the queen can smell it from all the way up there. That's not good. If she's even still capable of smelling. Ready? Brace yourself. I don't know how this is going to go. Dadadu! You win! The scepter piece is yours! Will this work? Maybe it was too obvious. Ah! We meet again, old friend. Last I recall, friends didn't imprison each other. You have every right to be mad at us. I would be too. But you have to understand that we were forced to do what we did. Here is what truly happened. Our plan failed, and all of you were too cowardly to face the punishment. So you took the easy way out, and made me pay along for all of us. Ooh. Nothing you could say or do will be enough to make up for all of these cold nights I had spent inside of that pouch. When the pouch be I can't describe how good it feels to see you all cowering in fear of me. Destroy the old you before it destroys you! Isn't that what you used to tell us? And it worked! You gave us all hope when we lost everything. You gave us something to fight for. <laughs> now I need you to do the opposite. Destroy this new you. It has this bitter outlook on life that would have never gotten us this far. By turning on each other, they win. Let's see if that. You will always a smooth talker, Sandy. But it's not good. I know you have a trap set up somewhere. You don't think I know you and all of your tricks? You know what? Whatever the trap may be, my army will take care of you anyway. <laughs> I knew it. Javinia. Any last words before I command my army to devour you? Get in the box! Get in the highlighted box? So the scepter really is meh. Where's the box? Okay, it's obviously here. That's a table. Let's get in the box, but I don't see the box.
Oh, I guess it was this one. Yeah, lad. You and your army are about to get knackered. The Rex cat. Twice for good measure. Oh, no, don't eat it. Oh, that just made things worse. That was great. It literally. Let's put them in a box so they can spin around and watch the POV of this fight from multiple angles. Oh boy. We're in the hospital now. Oh, good. You're up. The plan worked. But the scepter was destroyed in the process. It's better this way, if you ask me. Nobody should have that much power. Everyone that was brainwashed is back to normal now. And corpses of the naughty ones litter the streets. I don't remember the last time I felt like I wasn't scared for my life. This feels good for a change. We've been through a lot. You should rest. And when you wake up, we can discuss what we're going to do next. There's somebody behind Bam Bam. I think Stinger Flynn is asleep. Huh. It was a little messed up that we're introduced to the naughty ones, but they were only really a thing for one installment, and now they're gone. So the birds are asleep. I thought we'd actually be done by now. Why does it look like we can peel that drawing on the wall? What's that? That drawing on the wall. Nah. Seems like there's something behind me. Hmm, weird. I would just leave it alone. Uh, you two should rest. I don't think that's a good idea. Who knows what could be behind it? Just leave it alone. The game doesn't end till we peel it off. Never play with the devil. Doctor's orders! So if Ban Ban is the devil... Then who's the blue guy? Thanks for playing Wishlist the Sequel Garden of Ban Ban 8. With this, I guess, good blue Ban Ban?
Oh, that was an experience. We got stuck on the thing with the baby, but then I realized the brightness was up and I finally got out of there. It's a lot of story stuff with this one. But I'm also kind of disappointed they set up the naughty ones being like the new big threat for the story. But then, you know, the naughty ones are taken care of by the end of this game. So now we're back to the implication that Ban Ban is the villain again. And that this blue Ban Ban here is, like, the good one? Well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. I hope you like our new way of trying to do this little video thing. You know, kind of having something a little closer to what people expect. Like a little Let's Play of me at the corner. We're going to put the other puppets here. This background you're seeing... Uh, let's zoom in. This background you're seeing here is temporary. It's something I literally threw together last night in Gary's Mob, which is a bunch of props. And I just randomly picked the Kame House map. So, uh, be sure to check out more videos from the Wacky Puppets. And don't forget to check out my friend Isaac of Isaac and Friends. Uh, he does gameplay stuff too. He does movie reviews. He's currently talking about Warhammer 40k, something that I don't understand fully. There's also my friend TJ who's doing the Dub of the Bone comics, and my friend Remy of Remy's Horror Hour who does creepypasta narrations, really old school early day vibes to them. So have a good day, and don't forget if you want to support us, you can always become a patron, you can become a YouTube member, or you can just buy puppets from our Etsy store. We do sell puppets there, made the order. So have a good day, Wacky Nation, 2400 strong and growing. Here's to a new format going forward.